giant emerald and diamond tsunami is headed towards JJ and Mikey's family village. So we're building bunkers before everything floods. Oh no, Pip. That giant emerald and diamond tsunami is on its way. Oh no, what are we, what are we going to do? I don't know, Pip, but look, JJ and Mikey are stranded on top of their house, preparing! Well, Louie, if that tsunami's going to be here in 20 minutes, we need to build some bunkers fast to save them! All right, well, let's get started! First of all, I need the Wand of Symmetry, because we need to make sure that this tsunami will not get in! So, what we are going to do is place our Wand of Symmetry right, right next to this furnace! And then, what we are going to do is cover the outside of our house with a bunch of bedrock. This is the strongest material in Minecraft. Oh, you're right, Louie. I need to cover so much of this house with bedrock. Wait, what are you doing? Pip, that's not bedrock. That's a bed and a rock. Exactly. Is that not what bedrock is? No, Pip. I'm building out of bedrock right now. Take a look. It's literally a black and gray block that you cannot break with diamond pickaxes. No, Louie. This block is sucky. We should be using dirt instead. Dirt? No, 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 no. Pip, you're ruining it. Oh, you're the one ruining it. Oh, no, I'm not. I'm just trying to keep JJ and Mikey safe. Just look how scared they look. Well, Louie, I guess this bedrock wall is okay, but... There's a giant water tsunami coming here. Shouldn't we put drains down here? Oh, wait. Good point. We need to make sure that that diamond and emerald tsunami does not get inside. So I have an idea. Let's surround the entire outside of this whole wall with drains. So that it will drain all of the diamonds and the emeralds down it. Oh, yeah, Louie. Let me get this drain block and I'm going to start spamming. Uh, well, don't worry, buddy. I have already completed most of the drains. This entire side, all of the sides are now completed. But these drains are way too small. I think they need to be just a tiny bit bigger. So I'm going to break a bunch of grass just going around here. And then go ahead and place these drains in. As you can see now, we have a ton of drains in place. And this tsunami will definitely not be able to get inside. Yeah, Louis, so is this all? we need to build? No, 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 Pip. We need to build more defenses. After all, that tsunami is huge. If the water comes over the top, it'll just crash down on JJ and Mikey. Oh, well, let me just go ahead and get a bow out of my creative inventory and a bunch of arrows, and I'm going to shoot the tsunami. Wait, what? You can't shoot a tsunami. It literally takes zero damage. Uh, I think I'm killing it, Louie. I think I'm stopping it. Um, no, Pip. It looks like it keeps getting closer and closer. So, come on! Help me stop it! We need a plan B, just in case uh, these drains do not work. So, I have an idea. Uh, let's do something similar to a drain, but it will be a lot better. Let's just make a huge hole in the ground that the diamond tsunami will get stuck inside of. Oh, a huge hole is boring, but I guess it will work. Oh, well, what ideas do you have, Pip? If you think a huge hole won't work, what do you think will work against the diamond and emerald tsunami. Well, I have a genius idea, Louie. I think we should put a bunch of cobwebs to slow it down. Wait, cobwebs? Well, maybe we could put that outside. Let's put that outside of the hole. So it slows down the water and makes it fall in. Well, hopefully this works. I'm going to surround our entire base with a whole bunch of cobwebs. All right. So hopefully that is a good idea. And hopefully it will stop the tsunami. But we cannot be sure. So we need way more plan B's. Or maybe a plan C. Or maybe even a plan Z. Uh, plan Z. Definitely, buddy. But you know what? I have an idea. Look, I'm going to make sure that these holes are reinforced. I want to make sure that if the tsunami crashes down inside, it won't just wash our base away. So I'm going to make the walls down here out of obsidian to make a huge obsidian wall to trap that water tsunami. You know, Louie, tsunamis are probably bad at parkour. So why don't we make it do parkour? Parkour? Wait, that gives me a good idea. Tsunami water is really bad against lava. So, yeah, we could make some parkour, but let's make it lava parkour! Oh, yeah, this is going to be great! 
it should be able to melt all of the diamonds and emeralds out of that tsunami before it reaches our base. There's no way this tsunami can do fence parkour. Oh, I don't think it can. But wait, Pip, I can't do fence parkour. Make it easy for me. Oh, finally. <laughs> I forgot you're bad at the game. Arr, whatever. But Pip, we literally have a huge lava moat, some fences, cobwebs, brains, and a huge hole. But what else should we put in? Wait, wait, what do you mean next trap? We haven't even placed our parkour yet. How are we supposed to get to Mikey and JJ? Oh, good point. Let's go ahead and make some jumps across the lava. The first few will be made out of iron blocks, and then we can switch to deadly fence parkour. So I'll just place some iron blocks like this, and then I'll make a little fence tightrope we have to walk across. Oh, I can make this even better, Louie. If I punch some holes into the tight walk, we can just make epic fence parkour. Wait, good idea. Let's just break a bunch of holes, and yep, this is going to be really hard. Not even I could do this, and whoa! Oh, well, Louie, you're going to have to learn how to do it if you want to get to Mikey and JJ. Yep, but how about we make the tsunami do some ladder parkour, too? Ladder parkour is extremely hard. You have to jump up a wall that is filled with ladders, but it's really hard to hold on. Look, I'll try right now. Yeah! <laughs> Louie, you suck at parkour. Oh, no, I don't. But anyways, look, if I can get up this ladder parkour right here, just like this, I should be able to jump over the cobwebs. And uh-oh, uh, I kind of fell into the hole and probably would die if I was in survival mode. Oh, well, if you're in survival mode, just turn on creative mode. Um, Pip, it doesn't work like that. Here, I have a better idea. How about we put some slime blocks inside of this hole right here? So it kind of looks like it blends in with the grass. And then when I come from up here, I can jump onto the slime, bounce over, and land on the drains. Oh, I can even do a backflip! Whoa! And, um, Pip, you hit your head really hard there. Oh, yeah, don't do a backflip if you're going to lean on your head. Yep, do not do that. But anyways, Pip, look, we landed on the drains, but we have no way to get inside of this bedrock wall. Um, can't we just jump over it? Don't you have a super jump ability? Um, no, Pip, I'm not Superman, but... I think I have an idea. How about we make the entrance around the back? Because if the tsunami is coming from over there, then we can just make our way in over here. Why didn't we think of this earlier? This is genius. Yeah, but wait a second. If the walls will be able to stop that tsunami, why don't we just build a huge wall? I have an idea what to build it out of. What could we possibly build it out of? We should build it out of diamonds and emeralds to fight fire with fire. Oh, but this is not... I mean, not fire. Oh, I know, buddy, but just watch this. If I get a wooden axe and go over here, I can go ahead and go right here and then all the way over here. And then all I have to do is just run this command. Boom! And as you can see, it creates a huge emerald and diamond wall to stop that emerald and diamond tsunami. Uh, Louie, what kind of wall is this? This tsunami is way bigger than this wall, so so it can just fly right over. Well, you're right, but only a little bit of it will be able to. The rest of it will wash away. But hopefully these countermeasures will be strong enough to stop the water that gets over the top. Oh, it better, Louie, or if Mikey and JJ dies, it's going to be your fault. But my fault? No, oh, more like your fault. Oh, no, no, no. I did everything right. And plus, I would make this base out of dirt, but you don't want to. Oh, but that's because dirt Dirt washes away. Water can wash dirt away so easily. I have an idea on what it cannot wash away. Let's put some bulletproof glass. So let's get some glass like this and let's make it the red kind. The reinforced red stained glass. Well, Louie, if this glass is bulletproof, is it tsunami proof? Uh, well, that's the thing. I don't really know. But if it's bulletproof, I'm pretty sure it will be able to survive a pesky wave of water. This isn't just any wave of water, Louie. It's the strongest tsunami in the world! Whoa! Oh, that's really bad. If it really is the strongest tsunami in the world, we are in for a bad time. Oh, come on. Build quicker, build quicker! 
Yep, I'm going to build a dome of red reinforced glass going over the top of the base. This way, JJ and Mikey will be safe if the wave crashes down because the bulletproof glass will keep it from hitting them in the head. I hope you're right, Louie. I don't want to see Mikey and JJ die. Yeah, me neither. Oh, I think I should be okay. Let's just place a bunch of bulletproof glass like this and we need to connect it all together so that everything goes right. And what if everything doesn't go right? Oh, well, then we need to build some more defenses. Oh, you're right, Louie. I need to stop being so negative. I just have to believe. Yeah, you just have to believe, buddy. But it's very hard to believe when a tsunami is coming your way. All right, Louie. We have our hopefully tsunami-proof glass. But I just realized you're saying dirt is such a bad walk. Why do we have it all over the ground? Wait, what? Oh, no, you're right. Oh, well, don't worry, Pip. I've got this. All I have to do is go from this side right here all the way over to this side and then i have to type in a crazy command let me just type this and boom we now have a floor made out of stone but i think i want it to look better so i'm going to mix and match different blocks together like stone bricks cobblestone and regular stone to make this floor look super duper cool oh well, this is kind of cool Louis, but i have a better idea how about we go ahead and place spikes all around just to hope we stab that tsunami in the booty. Oh, I guess that's a pretty good idea. If we stab the tsunami, it might run away and get scared. Oh, it's going to go crying back to its mommy. Wait, what would its mommy even look like? It would be the biggest tsunami in the world. Oh, it would be as big as your mom, Louie. Um, excuse me? That is super rude. Oh, no. <laughs> What's rude, Louie? That is a compliment. A compliment, yeah. Yeah, you calling my mom fat is not a compliment, buddy. No, I said her heart is big because she's super nice. Her heart is big? Pip, do you even know what you're saying right now? No, but, but last time I checked, her heart is super big. And isn't it failing? Failing? Oh, so you are calling my mom fat. <laughs> Maybe. Oh, well, whatever, Pip. It doesn't matter. Because at least I will be alive to see my mother again after this tsunami hits us. Oh, I'm not sure if you're going to be alive, Louie. This tsunami's really big. Oh, I think it is too, but I'm not scared. All right, let's just put some oak planks down. And there we go. We've completed the inside. And we've also added some countermeasures to stop the tsunami on the outside. But is there anything else we could do? Oh, I mean, there's always something we could do for example, we could probably add a giant watchtower to the top. So look, we can build a little lookout point and hopefully fire some more arrows at the tsunami. Oh, that's a good idea. Here, let's use the wand of symmetry to build it. Let's go ahead and just break a hole on the roof just kind of like this. And then we can make the watchtower go all the way down and come out of the roof of this house. Oh, this is going to be the coolest thing ever. But try not to kill JJ while you're at it. Oh, don't worry. JJ will be fine. He will just go inside of that house and be safe. But anyways, let's build this watchtower coming up. So we should build it out of really strong blocks. And I think a good block would be uh, this stone. We can just build some stone bricks into the walls like this. And what is going on? I think I might be building this wrong. Uh, Louie, I thought you knew how to build. Uh, yes, I do. Look, I'm going to build the watchtower coming down from the ceiling here instead. And I will just connect it up to the house. Just like this. And as you can see, Pip, we are converting this house from just a regular wooden house into a stone castle. Uh, this is probably the ugliest castle I've ever seen, but I guess if it works, it works. Yep, it will. Trust me, Pip, you just have to believe. All right, I'll believe, but don't make me regret saying that. Oh, don't worry, Pip, you won't regret saying that, buddy. I just need to remove some of these blocks from this house on the inside so that I... I'm able to convert the inside of this into a castle. So let's remove some blocks and then let's get some core blocks to fill it up with. Like these red nether bricks. I can make the entire floor in here out of them and, and replace all of the floor with this red nether brick. This looks really cool, but I need to get rid of a few more blocks. And Mikey, what are you doing there? Oh, I don't know if Mikey wants to hop into the castle with his best friend JJ or stay inside of the house. Oh, cool. 
Come on. Literally, look at this. We've converted this house into a half house, half castle combo. And I think it looks super cool. This looks like the castle that Princess Peach always hides in. Princess Peach? Huh? I can kind of see that. Yeah, every time I try saving Princess Peach, I keep realizing she's in another castle. Another castle? Uh, you know, she's only saying that because she does not want to be saved. Oh, no. I think she's just playing hard to get. Oh, whatever. Well, anyways, Pip, look. I've made this castle blend in. So it looks like it's part of this house. But now I think it's time to add some windows in so that it looks just a little bit nicer. And boom, I think that looks awesome. Hopefully the tsunami doesn't realize we're trying to build a castle. Otherwise, the tsunami might get really mad. Yep, you're right, Pip. But look, we have not finished our watchtower yet. We need to make this watchtower insane. Well, I have an idea. Let's build up these walls going all the way up to the top like this. And let's make this watchtower huge so that we have tons of space to look out and see if that tsunami is on its way. It wouldn't be a watchtower if we couldn't watch the tsunami. Yep, you're right. All right, what I'm going to do is add some red nether bricks to the floor so that we are able to have a nice and secure top to our watchtower so that we don't go falling off. We need to add some stone bricks to this wall. Oh, yeah. The more stone bricks, the better. Yep, and don't forget to add some glass, too, because we need to make sure that we have a bunch of viewing spots where we can see the tsunami from. All right, Louie. And, oh, this glass is kind of boring. How about we replace this glass with a glass door? A glass door? Why would you do that? Well, just so we can get in and out way easier. Plus, the tsunami probably cannot tell the difference. What if the tsunami is blind? Uh, I don't think the tsunami is going to be blind, but you know what? I guess it'll have to do. But Pip, look at what I'm doing. I'm making a really cool top to our balcony. I'm making it look like a tree. Oh, uh, well, if you wanted it to look like a tree, why don't you just tell me I can make it look like a tree right now? Wait, what? I'm putting leaves and you're putting dirt. Trees don't have dirt on them. This is my kind of tree. Oh, I see. You're planting trees up there, but I'm making this into the biggest tree in Minecraft. So, uh, Pip, can you help me? Oh, I didn't know this was a treehouse challenge. Uh, no, it's not. It's a secret bunker that will keep Mikey and JJ safe. And right now, we are, um, uh, not making a secret bunker. We are just making a wall. Oh, uh, well, I mean, maybe it is secret. Maybe the tsunami thinks a giant tree would be very secret. Oh, I guess you're right, but I think this is not going to be enough. Uh, we might need to add one or two more details to keep the tsunami out, but then we need to start working on an underground secret bunker. All right, Louie, stop slacking and sleeping, and let's build an underground bunker. All right, but why are we building it there? We need to build it inside with JJ and Mikey. Oh, no, Louie, I'm going to dig as deep as possible. We're going to make the deepest... Wait, wait, no, I'm falling! I'm falling! Uh, all right, Louie, I don't think we should make the secret bunker that Deep. Yeah, definitely, buddy. But we still need to dig it down into the ground. And I think it should be down here, just underneath our huge watchtower castle. All right, Louie, that sounds like a plan. All right, so let's dig down into the ground. And let's go ahead and turn all of these walls into stone. Or maybe even... Because we need to make sure that the tsunami cannot break through the ground and get into our base. Oh, well, why don't we just change this wall into dirt? Oh, I mean... That wouldn't be a good idea at all, Bib. Oh, come on, Louie. There's gotta be some place we can put dirt. Uh, you could put it on the tsunami if you want. Oh, yeah, that sounds like a great idea, Louie. See, look, you're starting to like dirt. Oh, no, I'm not. But, Pip, we have no time to be worrying about this. Come on. We need to make this bunker super secure. So I think what we should do is make a secure hallway that will keep all of the water out. Where only we can get through with a secret code. Code. Oh, what should the secret code be? Uh, maybe like three, four, five. Oh no, that's too much of an easy code. I think the code should be eight, seven, six, five, four, nine, seven, six, five, four, four, four. Uh, Pip, yeah, that's way too complicated. Not even I would remember that, and I'm smart. Oh, well, I have the memory of a duck, which 
is super good. Uh, more like the memory of a goldfish. Why do you keep forgetting that dirt is the worst block then? Oh, no, I never forget it. I would never forget that dirt's the best block. All right, but come on, Pip. We need to get on track. Let's put a keypad door right here on this block and let's make the code something simple we can remember. Maybe yeah. like 911 and then a 5. I don't know, 9115. Oh, isn't that the phone number to call the Ghostbusters? Uh, no, it's the phone number to call the cops with a 5 on the end. Oh, maybe we should call the cops to help arrest the tsunami. Uh, I don't think they would be able to stop it. It's a natural disaster, Pip. Oh, yeah. Oh, so they need to arrest Mother Nature. Where is she? Um, she's everywhere, Pip. Uh, but anyways, come on. We need to find a way to keep this code because we won't be able to remember it if we're building for so long. Oh, I have an idea. Let's hide it in a chest in this wall right here because there's no way the water will get to it. Let's just put a secret trap door here and then close it. And oh, it's not working. Uh, let me just try and put the secret trap door, uh, here. Oh, no. Oh, no! Oh, Louie, did you forget how a secret trap door worked? I kind of did. But look, boom. Now, it's hidden in the wall. And all we have to do is open it up, and we can get a book and quill out of it with our code, which is 9115. Surely the tsunami doesn't know how to read. Yeah, hopefully it doesn't. But if it manages to get through our keypad door, we need some more traps. Come on, uh, what haven't we done? We haven't done a maze yet. Oh, well, then let's do a maze. I'll just first off start by making the floor. So I'll go all the way down this hallway, and I'll just make all the floor out of stone. And while you build the maze, I'll fix the walls, Pip. All right, Louie, this is going to be the best maze ever. I think I'm going to make it out of hmm, probably sand. Wait, sand? Pip, sand falls down. It's going to take such a long time to build a maze out of that. Oh, no, it's not, Louie. If you put sand at the very bottom block and then build up. Gravity does not care. Oh, well, gravity does not care. But Pip, I care. It's going to be so easy. And literally, the whole floor of the ocean is made out of sand. So the water could wash it all away. Oh, well, then just stop caring, Louie. It's that simple. Oh, it's not that easy, Pip. But you know what? Let's go ahead and just build this maze like you said. Just place a bunch of blocks and a lot of dead ends. All right. And hopefully we can make the dead Dead ends actually dead because I can put some spikes and hopefully kill any tsunamis that try to go this way. Yeah, good idea, buddy. I'll just go ahead and just replace some blocks here, and then here, and then here, and ah, oh, it's so difficult. Oh, it's not hard, Louie. You just have to believe. Uh, Pip, I'm trying. Okay, we have this maze, but what else do we need to build? We have a code, we have a maze, but what else can stop the water? Um, maybe. Maybe your mom's homemade cooking. You know what? Fine, we'll use your idea. Let's put some of my mom's homemade cooking inside of this base. The thing is, how about we poison it so it poisons the tsunami and the tsunami gets food poison? Uh, you know what? Good idea. Let's do it. I'll just build up a few blocks like this. Go all the way over here. And then I'll use this command to cut out a huge hole here so that we can make a room in here. There's so much room. Oh, yeah. Oh, we can play so many poisonous cookies in this room. Yep. And the best part is I'm going to make all of the walls out of diamonds so that we look super duper rich, Pip. But aren't diamonds what we're trying to escape from? Um, yeah, it is. But don't worry. These are good diamond blocks and they have not turned into a diamond tsunami. So we should be okay. Oh, you're right. The only way to stop diamonds are with diamonds. Yep, you're completely right. But you said said you wanted to add some homemade cooking in here, so let's do that. First of all, let's make a few rooms that have tables inside of them. Let's poison the food. So let's put some diamond walls up that will stop the diamond tsunami. Then we can just get some tables and place them in the middle of the room. And if that doesn't poison them, I know what will. <laughs> uh, what are you doing, Pip? Why are you placing dirt everywhere? And Oh, no. Is that poop? Oh, yeah. I hear tsunamis love poop. Ew, that's so horrible. 
but it should be okay. Look, Pip, try and go ahead and put poop in these item frames too, because we need as much as we can get. We need to poison that tsunami. Oh, we're going to make this tsunami eat so much poop. Yep, but that should be the first room. It's literally going to be like an eating challenge. Every single room we do, the food should get worse. So let's go ahead and make the second one. The second room, we should hide behind a bunch of paintings just so that the tsunami will come in here, wash up against the paintings, and then leave. Oh, there's no way tsunamis know which painting is the right one. Yep. And look, Pip. Boom. I just placed the painting, and we know that this one of the weird-looking guy with the Christmas hat is the way through. And that should do. Now it looks beautiful. But it's time to make the second room to poison the tsunami. So, Pip, so I'll let you go crazy with this one. I'll just build the walls, and I'll put a table in the middle. And you tell me what food you wanted here next. Oh, Louie, you already know what food I want here. I'm just going to get something out of my creative inventory. And, Louie, I think this might be your favorite meal. So if you want to eat some, go right ahead. Rotten flesh! Ew! What is this? What is the bucket for that's full of all the yellow stuff? Oh, Louie, oh, you can't have rotten flesh without a little pee or lemonade, wink, wink. <laughs> Ew! First of all, we have poop, and then we have lemonade pee, and ah, oh, you know what? This room is disgusting. I'm going to the next one, Pip. Well, we of course it's disgusting. We're not trying to feed the tsunami cake and steak. Yeah, but I was hoping you would give it something a little better than that. Anyways, this is going to be the buffet room. This room is going to be full of so much food. It's going to be crazy, but we need to make sure this will poison the water. Oh, what is the best way to poison water? If it wasn't poisoned by the poop and rotten flesh, how else could we even poison it? Well, Pip, I have an idea that doesn't involve pooping in things. We just have to get some dispensers like this and place them coming from the ceiling. And inside, we can put some splash potions of poison. Oh, Louie, yeah. Let's go ahead and poison the tsunami. Yep, so what I'm going to do is get this lingering potion of poison, place them all inside the dispenser, and then I'll place a ton of them along the ceiling. Just like this. And now, Pip, we have a bunch of... And now, Pip, we have a bunch of dispensers in the ceiling that will poison people. Oh, this has to poison them. And if it doesn't, it will be your fault. Wait, my fault? What do you mean, my fault? Uh, well, because this was your trap idea, Louie, not mine. Uh, yeah, but it was the best trap idea, you have to admit. Oh, maybe in your dreams, Louie. Uh, well, I did have an idea like this in my dreams once, and it went really well. So I think this is going to totally stop the diamond and emerald tsunami. But anyways, Pip, we have all of these poison potions on the roof. Now, we just need a redstone link that we can activate before we run out of the room. So let's put a redstone link down, a lever, and now when I press it, boom! It fills the room with poison. Oh, Louie, how do we turn the poison off? How do we turn it off? Uh, you don't, Pip. It lasts for 22 seconds. Oh, 22 seconds, but it's actually not even doing that much damage. This poison is useless. Uh, well, I would say it's more poisonous than your little poop and pee rooms. Oh, well, it's not even taking any damage off of me, so I think, uh, this trap is an L. Oh, whatever. Come on, Pip. Let's just build the next room to stop the diamond and emerald tsunami. Oh, that is a tongue twister. Also, oh, since that trap was an L, I'm going to make a W trap. Welcome to my tune to be find the button room. Find the button? Well, Pip, there are no buttons in here, and there's also no door to activate with the buttons. Oh, well, that's where you are wrong, buddy. Well, let me just go ahead and place a bunch of buttons all around. Oh my gosh, you're using stone buttons. These are really, really camouflaged. Look, well, you could barely see them. Yep. And I'll even make some other kind of buttons on the wall. That way, this tsunami sees so many different kinds of buttons and might just reach quick. Good idea, buddy. But let me put down that iron door that will be in this fine the button room. I'll put it right over here. We need to make sure there are no 
buttons around that could turn it on yet. And we have to make sure the button is in this area, because if we make the button over here, the door is only open for like two seconds, so there's no way that Tsunami will be able to run into the iron door. Yep, but Pip, look, I have connected up some redstone to the iron door now. All we have to do is just connect one of the buttons in this room. Which one do you want? Oh, uh, I want uh, this blue one right here. All right, well, this blue one is our special button. I'm going to go behind it, place a redstone link, grab a button and place it inside. Then I will make it so that it sends this signal all the way over to this door by putting a redstone link here and setting it to receiving mode. Oh, now let me punch this button and it's doing nothing. Um, Pip, it is doing something. Look, it's opening the door. Oh, come on. Let's see if this is possible. If I punch this button and then go, 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 go. Yep, you can get inside. Woohoo! Our find the button room is officially complete. All right. Now that we have this giant little stone room, we can make a giant dirt room. But don't tell Louie, guys. He would be very mad if we had a giant dirt room. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. All I'm going to do is get my trusty world and an axe out of my creative inventory. Select this corner and run, 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 run over here. And this is a super cool way of removing all of this dirt. You just have to do the command slash slash cut and boom. This room is clear for takeoff. We just need to make it a bit more symmetrical because as you guys can see, there are four blocks over here but only three blocks over here. But we are going to make this symmetrical so this base looks super good. Symmetrical basically means that this door is exactly in the middle. So we're once again going to use our world an axe and then do the command again and boom now our room is looking good let's just go ahead and block up this redstone so that tsunami cannot try to break it i'm going to do guys it's going to be a little bit of a trap involving lasers just stay tuned to see what i'm going to do i'm going to put a laser catcher on this side of the room right next to an iron door and this tsunami will have to activate this laser catcher and proceed to the next trap but the only way to activate this laser catcher is by putting this laser over here with this redstone block on top of the laser catcher. As you guys can see, this laser is not lined up. So how you line it up is using mirrors. We get these mirrors and you can see we can reflect these lasers right into the laser catcher like so. But it doesn't exactly reach so let's just go ahead and make this a little bit better and I'll show you guys how we can actually open this laser catcher and beat this Room. We just need to put a couple more mirrors, and like so, we have opened the door into the next room. But, oh, this was way too easy of a room. I need to make this harder. So, the way I'm going to do that is by getting obsidian blocks and making giant towers. So, hopefully, the tsunami gets a little trick up and cannot beat this area too easily. We can't let them having an easy shot now. My goal is to get the tsunami to give up, so it goes back to where it came from. I I don't even know where the tsunami came from. Probably the ocean. That's why I don't really like the beaches, guys. Sand gets in my feathers and it just gets so uncomfortable. But comment down below, guys. Do you like the beach or do you prefer the pool? I love the pool way more. All right. We have a bunch of obsidian blocks placed down. And now this is looking golden. We can just put down a few more to make this a bit trickier. And oh my gosh, this would take forever to beat. Well, now let's go ahead and get a chest and we are going to fill up this chest with a bunch of mirrors. Let's put a bunch of mirrors in here. And boom. I think this room is just about complete. We have so many obsidian walls. And uh, yeah, they are going to take forever to get past here. Oh, I wonder what Louie is doing. I haven't seen him in a minute. Uh, Pim, what do you mean you haven't heard from me in a while? I'm right here. I've been helping the whole time. Oh, uh, Louie, were you invisible or something? Uh, uh no. Uh-huh. That is very suspicious. Uh. Uh, no, it's not. But anyways, Pip, come on, buddy. Let's go through here into the next room because I have a good idea. I'm going to make it so the water will have to pick between two different options. Oh, what could the options be? Are you trying to make the tsunami do a quiz room? Uh, no, not a quiz room, but let me show you what. I'm going to open up this whole room and let's make the walls out of something a little nicer. I'll just go up here, click here, and then do this command. I'm going to make this whole
whole room out of diamonds. Oh, yeah. Diamonds are a chick's best friend. Yep. And now, look at this, buddy. I'm going to get a regular chest and a trapped chest. And the difference between these two is this trapped chest activates redstone. Oh, but what is that redstone supposed to do? Is it going to blow up the tsunami? Well, let me show you. First of all, what I'm going to do is just make a hole right here. And it will take you all the way down into the void. Don't ask why just yet, Pip. Uh, well, obviously, you're going to try to send the tsunami back to where it came from. Yep, into the void. But to do that, I'm going to need to use command blocks. So what I'm going to need to do is get this block right here. And then I'm going to have to get this block right here. I'll just paste this command in and then this. And then all I have to do is put air. And now watch this. If anybody opens up this trap chest, it will run this command, which will go ahead and it will make the hole open up. Whoa. Oh, I want to test this. Come on. Open it up, Louie. All right, Pip. I'm opening the chest. Boop. All right, Louie and I, I'm going to do a backflip. Woohoo! Uh, bye, Pip. Ow! But anyways, look at at this, Pip. Now, when I open this chest up, it opens a hole. And when I close it, it uh, closes the hole up. Oh, Louis, I don't even know how this works. I don't know a lick about command blocks. This is just a bunch of mumbo jumbo. Yeah, it's also my favorite redstone YouTuber, mumbo jumbo. But anyways, buddy, come on. We need to build one more thing. And we need to build JJ and Mikey a secret room to hide from the tsunami. What kind of secret room are you talking about? Are you talking like a secret bedroom? Oh, I'm talking like a bedroom, all right. All right, Louie, but what are you going to make the walls out of? What would Mikey and JJ like together? Oh, I know, buddy. I'm going to get red stone blocks for JJ, and then I'm going to get emerald blocks for Mikey! Whoa! This is so sick, Louie. Yep, I know it is, buddy. It's super duper cool. And what I'm going to do now is just get some glass and split this room in half. And then what you can do is you can put Mikey's room on one side and I will put JJ's room on the other. All right, uh, but which side is which? Uh? Well, I think this side is going to be JJ's, so you can't build Mikey's over there. All right, Louie, let me go ahead and build Mikey's room. Hey! You just stole my room. Ugh, whatever. I'll just use the other side. Sorry. Better luck next time. Oh, whatever, buddy. I'm just going to put some white wool like this and some red wool. And now JJ has a way bigger bed than Mikey. Oh, no. It's not the size of the bed that matters because, oh, you know those beds take up a lot of space for which I can instead make a PC setup. Oh, whatever, Pip. Well, did you know what I'm going to do? Is I'm going to place a table down and put an alarm clock on it because I want JJ to be able to get up early in the morning. Unlike Mikey, he probably sleeps all day. Of course he does, Louie. And then he wakes up and plays a whole lot of Minecraft. Yeah, Mikey may play Minecraft, but he only plays Minecraft for like two minutes a day. Whereas JJ can play all day. Just, just like me. Oh, well, if Mikey is sleeping all day and only playing for a couple minutes, what else does he do with his day? Well, Pip, he eats a lot lot of ice cream every day. Oh, but how is he not fat? I will never know. Well, because Mikey goes to the gym, duh. But anyways, Pip, I have no time to be worrying about you and your Mikey's little room. I'm going to be building JJ's PC setup now, which just needs a few books like this and a PC. So I'll put the PC here with the screen. And then I will get a seat that JJ can sit on. And now he can play any game he wants. Oh, Louie, I can't wait to prank you by putting TNT on the redstone block. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't do that. <laughs> I'm just kidding, Louie. I won't blow it up yet. <laughs> to stop you from doing that, I'm going to get some red and green carpets. And I'm going to put them over the redstone block so that you cannot place it down and set off some TNT. Well, if you're going to put carpet down, then I'll put Mikey's favorite coat color carpet down. Oh, what yellow? But I thought Mikey liked green. Oh, I don't care what color he likes. He's going to use my favorite color. All right. Well, Pip, I'm completed with JJ's room. It's now up to you to build your room for Mikey. Oh, you're already done? Oh, that's probably because 
because your bed is huge, I still have plenty of room inside of Mikey's space where I can still build a massive TV setup. And now that I have this TV, I can go ahead and place down some M blocks and put Nintendo Switches on here. Let me go ahead and get one of my favorite games out of my inventory. Super Mario Kart. I'll put that in there and boom. Oh, Mikey and I can play so many video games standing up. I don't want to stand up and play video games. So I'm going to get a sofa out of my inventory and place it down like so. And the yellow on yellow doesn't look very good. So how about we go ahead and use some lime sofas. Mikey's favorite color. And boom. Now we have our gaming chairs ready to play so many video games. And Louie is not invited to play video games. And neither is JJ. Oh, there are still some things I can add to my room that Louie completely forgot to add. For example, I can get some paintings as well as some flower pots out of my inventory. I can put this flower pot in the middle. I put so many paintings around. Mikey loves painting since he is a little bit of an artist. He loves drawing and so do I. And boom, here is all of Mikey's favorite paintings in one room. This is paradise for Mikey. Speaking of paradise, Mikey doesn't want people watching him sleep during paradise. So I think I'm going to get a little bit of some one-way glass right here. And we're going to replace this entire glass wall with one-way glass like so. And we are going to make all of JJ's side completely look like blocks. And our side is going to look just like glass. So we can watch JJ sleep at night, but JJ can't watch us sleep at night. This is probably the best idea I have ever come up with. This is just a lot of one-way glass to put down, but don't worry. They are almost done. And ba -doom. And, and bing bada boom. We have put down a whole bunch of one-way glass. Let's just make sure to turn all of these into blocks so JJ cannot watch us sleep. Come on, JJ, you're not watching us sleep today. Hopefully JJ doesn't notice all of the strange blocks on his side. Uh, yeah, just ignore that, JJ. Ignore the giant wall of redstone and emeralds. Hopefully he doesn't see. And hopefully Louie doesn't see either. And so Louie remembers a giant glass wall being here, but I don't remember a giant glass wall being here. <laughs> what are you talking about? Uh, it is just a uh, giant wall mixed with a bunch of random blocks. Yeah, that's all. And we are officially complete with our invisible wall. Uh, it does look kind of ugly on our side, but it looks amazing on Mikey's side. Uh, now that Mikey's room is basically complete, we can go ahead and put a jukebox with a couple of, uh, what are they called? Music discs. We'll just put a few of those in a chest right over here in the corner. And right next to it, we will put a jukebox. Mikey loves his favorite tunes. And I'm putting some lime colored and yellow colored CDs in here. Now Mikey can jam out to the latest hits. Oh, but since Mikey's base is complete, why don't we troll JJ's base? Since uh, I think Louie's in the bathroom right now, let's just change all of this wool to, I'd say, yellow wool. I don't think you'll notice. I'm pretty sure Louie's colorblind, so he will be able to fall for it. We'll even change this chair to a yellow chair, like so. We'll just delete this one, put this one right here, and we'll get rid of all these bookshelves. I don't like reading. Well, I'm going to force JJ not to read. Reading is boring. I prefer playing video games way more. And last but not least, Louie likes to wake up early, but uh, you can't wake up early without an alarm clock. So boom. And instead of an alarm, I'll probably just put something really annoying like a giant fire. Hopefully this is going to burn down his room. Oh, uh, we'll even add some TNT as well. And boom. JJ's base is completed. Oh, <laughs> no way Louie's going to think that his base is better than mine because that is simply not true. Oh, now that Louie's base is officially trolled, um, let's just see. Is there anything else I can add on my side? I know, Mikey loves his food, but um, we don't have any place to store food right now. How about in this corner right here, we get a few kitchen counters that we can place down as well as a refrigerator where we can store so much food inside. We'll even put an oven so we can cook food. My 
Cookie's favorite food are seeds, just like mine. So we're going to fill up this entire refrigerator with a bunch of seeds as well as rotten flesh. The rotten flesh and seed combo is so delicious, guys. But I'm not sure if humans can eat it, so don't try it at home, kids. So now that we have the oven, let's make sure to add my favorite microwave. I love microwaves, guys, as as you know, you can make popcorn with microwaves. So look, I just popped some popcorn from my microwave, and now I am ready for a movie night with Mikey. Oh, we might even watch DuckTales. That would be a very interesting movie. Or the Farming Channel. Oh, but I know one last thing that I can put inside of Mikey's face to make it look even cooler. Since Louie is probably in the bathroom eating a bunch of chocolate. Bell, let's change a bunch of this yellow carpet to green carpet so it's a little bit of a mixture all throughout the base. I love it when carpets have multiple colors, and I think Mikey will as well. So I'm replacing all of this with green wool, and now, as you can see, our carpet is a mix of yellow wool and green wool. So this is probably the best bedroom I have ever made. I cannot wait to see Mikey's face, he's going to love it, and if he doesn't love it, I might cry for the rest of the day. All right. All right, Pip, I'm back. And uh, what's going on with my room? Why is my room yellow? Uh, why is there TNT and fire everywhere? Oh, sounds like a personal problem. Why would you do that, Louie? Uh, no. I was trying to make my room look good. But it looks completely different. Oh, who could it have been? You. Uh, I didn't do that. Yeah, it was you. That's what I'm thinking, too. And I think I know who it could have been. Um, Pip. You. Oh, you know what? I. I don't care! Well, stop yapping, Louie. Let's go get him! Pip, we need to get JJ and Mikey in this room right now so that we can survive the tsunami! Come on! Oh, I'm going to start pushing him down. Up, up, and away! All right, here we go. And come on, JJ. Come on, Mikey. We have to get you into a safe place. Yep, you know what? I'm lifting JJ up. I'm taking him with me. All right, JJ and Mikey are now in their rooms. And wait a second. What's going on here? My gosh, but uh, uh, Mikey, why don't you go into this room? This is all made out of ugly red. Yeah, and JJ, why did you go in here? Yellow is not even your favorite color. Oh, they must be so scared that they're going in the wrong rooms. When is this tsunami coming? I think I'm starting to hear something up there. Oh, me too. Come on, Pip. Let's go up there and see what's happening. Oh, guys, it's looking fine over there, but what? Oh, no, the tsunami is moving. No. Oh, come on. Hopefully, it does not get past this wall. Only we built a massive wall for a reason, but that tsunami is also getting pretty massive as well. I don't know if this wall is going to handle it. And oh, no, no, no. This tsunami is getting bigger and bigger every single second. It's even getting over the wall. This is very, very bad. But okay, guys. Um, maybe the wall caught it. Maybe it will die in the lava. Oh, no. This is the scariest thing I have ever seen. There is so much diamond and emerald everywhere. It's getting in the lava. And oh no, I thought that parkour was going to stop the tsunami, but it doesn't look like it is. Oh, the base is getting surrounded. I really have to tell Louie. Maybe Louie can do something to stop this. Louie, 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 where are you? I'm here! And wait, what's going on? Why is there so many diamonds? Oh yeah, Louie, how are we going to stop? Oh, I don't know. Don't ask me. Oh, well, this is way too scary for me. I'm going into the bunker. Good luck. This is not my job. We need to keep JJ and Mikey safe. As long as the diamonds don't get inside, we are okay. Oh, wait, what? Where are you going? Oh, you know what? Whatever, Pip. I'll save us. Oh, guys, I can't believe Pip left me up here. And wait, these diamonds and emeralds are starting to get a little crazy. And wait, oh, no. I could see them spawning in. And uh-oh, it's coming back up. Is it going over the walls? It's literally surrounding the entire base. Hopefully, the diamonds and emeralds don't make it inside. Otherwise, JJ and Mikey will be in trouble. And uh-oh, it's going over the top. This is bad. You know what, guys? I think I need to get inside right now. I need to warn everybody that the diamonds and emeralds are on their way. And uh-oh, it's like the entire base 
has been surrounded. I can't even see outside anymore. And look, all the glass is being covered up. I cannot even see outside. This is bad. Oh, hopefully it doesn't flow in through the door. And uh oh, that was the door. Now it's gone. Oh, guys, I think this diamond and emerald tsunami is a lot stronger than I thought. It's literally a diamond tsunami. I should have known it would be stronger than a normal one. Oh, guys, but it looks like at least I'm safe in here. All of those diamonds are... What's going on? Look, the whole house is filling up. You know what, guys? I have to dig all the way down and... Oh, no. It looks like all of these emeralds filled up my secret base. But where is my keypad door? Oh, come on. And wait, I got out. Oh, but guys, this is bad. The entire place is filled up with diamonds and emeralds. But wait, they stopped? I hope they have. And... Uh-oh, wait. I see diamonds over there and emeralds over here. This is bad. It's still going through the base. But... Okay, it seems like they all stopped right here next to all of the poop. Let's see. Has it spread to any of the other rooms? It doesn't seem like it has. And, wait, what? Oh, no. It's filling up the room. You know what? I need to go ahead and poison it. I put so much poison in this room, guys. Hopefully, that will slow it down. And, uh oh it's not. It's still filling up the room. Let me just send the rest of the poison in. Oh, no. It got rid of my redstone link. Oh, I need to get out of here. Let's go through this. Find the bottom room and let's look out of the doors and see if it follows me and oh look the diamonds and emeralds are filling up that room as well i hope we don't die and ow oh no it's drowning me i'm stuck oh let me get out of here i need to run where is jj and mikey and oh they're right there let me just mine through this wall and put the diamonds back and it looks like it's coming through the laser room but i don't know i don't think it will be strong enough to get through here but uh oh it's on its way you know what guys i think i just need to warn JJ and Mikey. JJ! Mikey! The diamonds! The emeralds! They're here! Oh no! It's coming through! And, uh, wait. Has it stopped? It's it's not moving anymore. I think it may have gotten stuck in the door. Guys, I think we might be okay. Louie, oh, Louie. Oh, is that diamond and emerald tsunami coming inside you? Wait. There's no way. Is it gone? Oh, I don't think so. I mean, look, it's all here, but I think it stopped. Oh, there's so much diamond and emeralds everywhere, but it looks like it's over. Oh, I hope so. I think we may have survived. Oh, my gosh. We totally did it. We survived. Yeah, we totally did it, Louie. And we couldn't have done it without me. Yeah, and we couldn't have done it without the viewers, too. But anyways, guys. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more just like this one, then make sure to like, subscribe, and click the next video on your screen. Let's go! Now it's time to blow up this entire base. No! JJ, Mikey, run! <laughs>